What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to the Liverpool Wolves post-match analysis video and I want to know your opinion, was this a good or a bad Liverpool performance because there were parts where Liverpool were brilliant but there were also parts where Liverpool were absolutely shocking and I don't know what is happening with this Liverpool team that almost all of our players are making huge individual errors, unforced errors. Alisson, one of the most experienced and definitely one of the best goalkeepers in the world, has made an absolute howler. In fact, he made two howlers and one was punished by Gedesh. It was like Loris Karius in the Champions League final in, uh, in 2018, I think. Uh, it was an absolute shocker. And uh, Liverpool defensively made so many Errors of judgment, Joao Matip, Konate all made individual errors. Thiago, uh, it all came uh, and started with Thiago receiving the ball from Alisson and instead of passing it, uh, after taking a touch uh, to the left wing uh, towards, I think, Robertson or Cody Gakpo, who, by the way, had a really good uh, cameo, a really good, uh, like, first uh, start for Liverpool. And he showed encouraging signs, uh, but I will talk about him a little bit later in this video. But instead of Thiago passing the ball straight away, he starts dribbling. Why haven't we learned from the mistakes that we made so many times before? And also, Thiago is a very experienced 31-year-old Player and I don't understand how he can start dribbling in that uh, in that uh, situation because that is just unacceptable to me. And Liverpool lose the ball and then Thiago tackles the Wolves guy and probably Alisson gets distracted because of uh, you know the Wolves player uh, being on the ground but he still should have booted the ball upfield towards the midfield instead he tries to be too clever and he sometimes has these uh, moments Alisson and a lot of times Liverpool don't concede goals directly because of Alisson's mistakes or individual errors but this time they did and I think that goal really unsettled the Liverpool players mentally because after that we didn't play with the same composure. If Liverpool were very anxious, very nervous throughout the whole game. How embarrassing is it that Liverpool fielded their strongest possible 11 right now, of course without the injury, injured players, and Wolves rested half of their team and yet it was Liverpool who luckily escaped with a draw and an FA Cup replay. This is the last thing that Liverpool needed, an FA Cup replay, but at least we are still in the competition. Wolves already knocked out Liverpool twice in the FA Cup very early in 2017 and 2018, and, uh, and it, they could have done it again. I heard that the Wolves' third goal was only disallowed for offside because VAR didn't find a camera angle to actually see whether Matos Nunez was in an offside position or not. So they said the referee's decision stands. How embarrassing is that? And Liverpool got away with it, big time. But Liverpool were much better after uh, the first half uh, and also in the first half stoppage time. Trenox Ronald, out of nothing, whips in an absolutely glorious cross to the back post and finally Darwin Nunez scores, he breaks his unlucky like a uh, goal drought a little bit of a small goal drought where he had 16 shots in the past three Premier League games seven shots on target uh, like seven or eight big chances missed and yet uh, you know he, he scored zero goals but finally he was off the mark and then Liverpool scored again through a horrendous Wolves mistake of their own Totti heads it straight to Salah and he takes it down with a magnificent first touch. That wasn't an easy touch by Salah. And then he side foots it into the back of the net. But then Liverpool, instead of, you know, really being resolute in uh, midfield, I mean, it was just so easy to vault through the Liverpool midfield. Jordan Henderson, how many absolute howlers does he have to have as a midfielder? How many horrendous performances does Jordan Henderson need to put in for Jurgen Klopp to drop him? I know it is the Liverpool captain, but he shouldn't be playing with the form that he was in this season. Henderson is way past his best and I would start Naby Keita ahead of Jordan Henderson right now because Henderson gave the ball away so many times and also he lost the uh, one-on-one -on -one duels and he just doesn't carry the ball forward. Naby Keita, I think in the past two games 
made enough impression on me that I think he deserves a start. And Brighton away is our next game. I'm already dreading the fixture. If Liverpool play anything like with, they played in the last two games, we will get absolutely slaughtered and smashed by Brighton. The only two really big positives, apart from Cody Gakpo's pretty decent uh, debut performance, was that Trenox Ronald, it looks like he was back to his best. He got back-to-back -back assists after not registering an assist for the whole first half of the season. And Darwin Nunez was again at his scintillating best. He was working tirelessly, running at people. I want to see the same hunger and desire and... Um, intensity from all the Liverpool players that I see from Darwin Nunez. Mo Salah, if he, if he played with, with as much intensity, as much hunger as Darwin Nunez, he would score so many more goals. World, uh, Salah is world class, he's a world class finisher, so he needs to do more. He needs to grab the game by the scrub of the neck. He needs to be more of a leader and lead by example and put in brilliant performances because Liverpool's midfield at the moment is just so bad. Fabinho doesn't have the legs anymore. Thiago was never the fastest player. Thiago is also uh, 31 years old. Henderson is like 33. Fabinho is 28, 29, but he looks like he's also 33 years old as well. And, uh, you know, Liverpool need a midfielder. I don't understand how we let Matos Nunez go to Wolves. I don't understand it, honestly. Last summer, Mateus Nunez wanted to sign for Liverpool. He waited weeks for Liverpool's call and Liverpool's call never came. And then he went to Wolves and you could see in this game that Mateus Nunez was brilliant. He was waltzing through our midfield time and time again, gliding past players. It's embarrassing that now Liverpool think we should sign Mateus Nunez in the summer. We should have signed him last summer. We should have signed a great midfielder last summer. If Liverpool don't sign a midfielder in January, I'm 100% sure Liverpool won't make the top four. We are embarrassingly bad in midfield. I mean, Naby Keita is our only shining light and, uh, and also Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain put in some decent performances. Why don't they get a game when, you know, Thiago, Henderson and Fabinho are fit? They are playing every game and they should be rotated, they should be rested. Why not put Henderson in the, the defensive midfield role and say to him, just stay in front of the back four and uh, cut passes out, uh, harass people, because I think that's where Henderson excels at. He's not a box-to-box -box midfielder, he's not a great attacking midfielder either. He doesn't have the technique, the passing uh, ability, um, and he doesn't have the legs anymore. I mean, it was embarrassing sometimes how easy it was for people to run past Jordan Henderson. So he should be either dropped completely or just played as a Fabinho backup player. Uh, in some games, but against Brighton, I would go with uh, Fabinho, Thiago, Naby Keita midfield. That would be my midfield. Or for Jurgen Klopp to just change formation. Why not change formation? It worked previously this season, so I don't understand why Liverpool are not applying different kind of tactics. Uh, Andy Robertson was, as I said, brilliant, but Alisson looked like a nervous wreck. Why didn't Kevin Kelleher play? He should have got this FA Cup game. Because he hardly ever plays and he will probably leave Liverpool. And Alisson also needs sometimes a rest mentally. This wasn't a good decision by Jurgen Klopp to play Alisson, in my opinion. And yeah, let me know. Let me know what they think. So some Liverpool fans are already saying that if Real Madrid knock Liverpool out of the Champions League, then Jurgen Klopp has to be sacked. He has to leave. That's an absolute load of nonsense. We need a brilliant midfielder to come in in the January transfer window. If FSG are not willing to back Jurgen Klopp in the transfer market, then Jurgen Klopp should publicly voice his concern and FSG should sell the club and bring new owners in so they can invest heavily into the playing squad. Let me know what they think about this game and everything I talked about in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you later guys. Goodbye.